Now going back to our queue, we only have one more step to do. Recall that with the main portion of the algorithm, we had a single edge up here, and we had the other edge affected down here with the two centers swapped. Well, we have two centers swapped and an edge, and we have an edge here which, with a U2 setup move, can be separated completely and put on the opposite diagonal side. Even though it will not be right here, we can do some changes to make it so. Hence, we do the last setup move, U2. And then we have a single edge separated from the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that in to what we have so far. Before we try to match it perfectly with what we have, why don't we just try to finish this algorithm off? From this point, all we need to do is to set up move R2. That will swap these two in a similar fashion to what we've seen before, except for now it's on the back and it's on the left half of the cube instead of the right half. But that's fine. And instead of doing the moves R U2 R prime, since it's in the back like this, we just do R prime U2 R as setup moves. And then that will fix it completely. Adding those moves in, this is the algorithm in its entirety. As you can see, it's a lot of moves, and we can start doing some cancellations. This U2 and U2 go, this R prime, and this R will go, and this R2 and R prime will just become R, leaving us with the following result. rotating it about y2, taking the mirror, and then finally taking the inverse, we have the algorithm. As you can see, this algorithm is almost identical to the standard algorithm, except for some outer moves are different, and one internal setup move is different, but almost identical in nature. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye now.